Hello and welcome to this course on Korg Gadget for Mac. Gadget, now on the Mac, not just the iPad, is a really powerful MIDI sequencer with a load of built-in instruments, which you can tweak just like you would tweak any plugins. You can choose new instruments and gadgets. They're called gadgets, actually. We shall refer to them as gadgets. You can search between categories of gadget if you want. You can set up different search criteria. And then once you've loaded your gadgets, as well as tweaking them, you're able to program MIDI parts for them, MIDI clips, in here. You're able to work with that MIDI data. You're able to create different loop lengths, different bar lengths for your clips. You've got what is essentially a polyrhythmic sequencer here, so you can have different clips of different lengths playing in the same scene. You can reorder your scenes. You can move them around like this. You can edit scenes, copy and paste them, mute them. You can build up songs. You can use a sort of jamming mode if you want to almost DJ with your projects rather than having it play from start to finish. You can duplicate scenes. You can drag and drop stuff in the sequencer. It's really cool. And then in the mixer, you can mix, change levels, add insert effects, things like that. You have a module called Zurich, which can be used for recording audio. You have a module called Rosario, which can be used for recording and processing guitars. And you have a bunch of really cool gadgets. You can also use these as plugins in your DAW, which is really helpful. So what we're going to see in this course is how to find your way around gadget, how to load gadgets and tweak them, how to program and work with MIDI, how to build a song, how to mix your song and automate everything. And finally, how to export stems, mix downs, and even Ableton Live projects from gadget, as well as, of course, how to work across the cloud, how to sync data and projects between your desktop and your iPad. So let's get started.